uh, disclaimer. I'm a broke bitch, so a lot of the stuff that Alyssa Forever has mentioned in this video, I don't have. So don't come for me and say, oh, she didn't use that. Oh, you tried following her tutorial, but then I don't have the, the thing. You don't have her, you don't have her products. Okay, well, that's the reason for the tutorial. We want to see that if her tutorial is can be versatile with all different other products. Can I get the same look with all other different products? So this is a disclaimer. I don't have her products, so don't come for me. Okay, thank you. Also guys, I don't wear contacts, so if you keep seeing me putting on my glasses like this, like that during the video, don't come for me, okay? I can't see, so I need to watch the video, okay? Okay, let's get started. And she goes, and this video goes fast, so it's gonna be pausing, playing, pausing, playing, okay? Y'all get it, y'all seen a bunch of videos, okay? Okay, you got me, I got you. Okay, let's go. Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how I got this really cute smoky eye. I only use one eyeshadow, so it can be really simple and perfect for beginners. You'll also get to see my foundation routine and this little combination I made for my lips. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I did my brows off camera, but we're gonna start off with taking some concealer and I'm just... Okay y'all, so I'm gonna be using the LA Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Medium Beige and I'm gonna put this on my lid. That blended out, I'm gonna take a little translucent powder. This one's Laura Mercier and slap that right on top. So I don't have Laura Mercier. So um, we're gonna use the Aerosmith pow uh, powder and we're gonna put that and set the lid. Okay, we're using the Morphe 35O palette instead of the NARS hot summer palette and I'm going to be using that dark brown that you see there. It's called Rich Chocolate Brown. This is a limited edition eyeshadow palette for the perfect summer browns look. There are six powders with cooler tone neutrals at the top and warmer tones at the bottom. I love that you can create a very natural look or a more dramatic look with these colors and also look at the packaging. It's literally the perfect size for traveling or to just throw it in the bag for on-the-go situations. I'm picking up the smallest. So from the Morphe palette I'm going to be using this shade. And then I'm going to be using this dark colored chocolate color because she has one that she uses, but I can't decide if this one is like the right shade or it's this one. So I'm going to like go one step at a time. I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to be using this one. Smoky eye actually stands for blending until your wrist pops off. Don't stop till that wrist pop. Once you feel like it's nice and blended, you can start adding in a little bit more product. Now I'm taking a different brush that- Oh, she fast, okay. Hold on. We all know it's edited. <laughs> she ain't that fast. I love you, Alyssa Forever, I love you. I'm not shading, not shading, I'm not shading. Y'all, my wrist is popping. I think it's time to stop. Once you feel like it's nice and blended, you can start adding in a little bit more product. Now I'm taking a different brush that fits perfectly into my crease. I'm gonna take it darker, take it at another level, but I'm gonna make sure that I do it in a way that's easy for me to blend. And I'm still using that rich chocolate brown from the NARS palette, and I'm just blend, blend, blending, like blend, like I said, blend till your wrist pop. If it don't pop, don't stop. And now I'm gonna put that all over my lid. So I'm going to be using another brush, she said. It's like a fluffy brush that you need. I'm going to be using the Morphe E30 brush. And I'm going to be using that same color. So I'm going to use that. And we're going to fluff it out more into the crease. Y'all, I hope this is not a fail. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, I know how to do smoky eyes, but like... 
it's hard following a tutorial sometimes. Like, it is. It's hard, you know? Because a lot of this stuff, it's edited. And it does take time, you know? You guys don't realize. Editing process make it look like it's shorter, but it's not. That's the real truth. Like, it might say six minutes long, but trust, it took like 20 minutes for it to actually do it. Or even more, an hour, <laughs> depending on how long the person takes. Like, usually my videos, when I edit them, they're at least about 30 minutes long. And I have to edit all of it. The struggle is real. So that looks blended. So I'm gonna blend more. She said to put it in the crease and then work your way to the lid. So I'm just doing that to the other eye. Okay, so now I'm gonna work my way up to the lid. Okay, y'all, I think it's blended out pretty well. That way from the lid up, it kind of blends from darkest to lightest, you know what I'm saying? Make it look like smoke. Blending is key to any makeup look. Like if you get that blend looking good, everything else, you know, kind of falls into place. So just take your time and do it right and make sure you don't take it too high up to that eyebrow. We want, we want it to have enough space to have a little gradient, a little ombre effect. And then we're done, well, halfway. I'm gonna do the up other eye off camera and come back. Oh, I did the other eye. London exaggerate eye definer in the color rich brown. I do okay, so I know she only used one, but I feel like it's not smoked out as I want it to. So I'm gonna go back. Like I said, I'm gonna use two shades, which is equivalent to one that she had from the NARS palette. And I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna be using this dark chocolate color and then I'm gonna put that in the crease and then use the brush the other brush again to make it look like smoke like she said y'all hear the helicopters yeah I live in the hood I live in the hood okay <laughs> Now that looks a little bit like it's supposed to be looking, right? Yes. Yes. Let's continue. I just want it to be darker towards my lash line. You could definitely skip this step if you want. I'm just being extra. And then I'm going to take, take the other end of it and kind of just smudge it out. Take a brown color to go over our lid area. At least I know I'm done. So I can put it away. So that's easy. Okay, guys, so that's the best I can do. Because I was kind of regretting using that. I probably, mm, you can skip it if you want. Now, now I regret it a little bit too. Making it even darker, I'm just going to go back and forth from adding product to blending, adding product to blending until I get it to be just as dark as I would like it to be. Okay, so we're not done. Alyssa, you said I was done with the, with the palette. Take this brush and use the same colors. Okay, that looked like smoke. And then blended out that pencil. Okay, it looks like it's getting there. Now it's time for lashes. These are Lily lashes in the style Miami. So now we're gonna do lashes. She said lashes now. So we done, officially done, okay? So I don't have any like uh, that much lashes right now. I forgot to pick some up. So I'm gonna be using like these cheap Kisses lashes. We'll see if we'll get the same look. I'm gonna double them, okay? I 
got my lashes on. It's the Kisses lashes. And let me tell you, girl, if your blend ain't perfect, a good pair of lashes can hide it and make it look bomb, okay? You can get you some good lashes. Now I'm taking this warm coral color and putting those on my dark circles. Okay, we're doing face. Underneath my eyes, I'm color correcting because I do be looking all dark. I'm not doing color correcting. And this coral color meeting. will cancel out any darkness. Don't have any Moving darkness. On to foundation, I'm just putting this all over my face. Get in there, get in there. So. Okay, we're skipping right into foundation. Looks like in the video she didn't use primer, so I'm gonna use the Milani Prime Shield Primer on my face. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty. She's using another foundation, so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty. Concealer under the eye. You could definitely take this foundation up under the eye. I just don't do that because too many layers of different products can cause severe creasing. For the under eye today, I'm wearing my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Medium to Ginger. A little bit definitely goes a long way with this stuff, so I'm trying to use a light hand with it today. I usually use a heavy hand on my concealers, but let's see how this goes. This is actually my first time using this concealer and I, was, I really like it. Like, I slept on it for so long. Everybody was. Okay, so I don't have the NARS concealer, so we're gonna be using good old um, LA, uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm also gonna be using the Instant Age Rewind uh, Eraser Dark Circle in the shade Golden. So we're gonna use these two together and put it on the eye. She said a little goes a long way because she's using the NARS. So we'll see. I'll put just a little bit. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, I do go ham on my concealers because I like that bright glow. So we'll see. Oh, I put too much already. <laughs> yeah. It's all right though, it's all right. Concealer is concealer. You're still gonna see, get that same glow. Okay, Alyssa, I'm following the tutorial. If you're a beginner, doing the concealer on the forehead, the nose, and the chin is not necessary. I just do it because I'm extra. I'm For extra contour, too. I'm using this color pop sculpting stick in the color Easy Peasy. And let me tell you, I'm in love. It's so hard for me to find a contour. I don't have a contour stick. I'm going to be using a liquid, and this is the Beauty Creations Mineral Formula Conceal. And does this have a shade? Uh, this is in the shade 119 Coffee. And the applicator looks like this. That's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use that for contouring. I'm not really into liquid contouring, so um, this is new for me. So I'm gonna be using this and putting this on the areas that she put it on. I'm using a light hand because this stuff is dark. Never done this part before, guys. I usually don't blend out contour my forehead, but I should because I got a big forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna blend this out first. Using a light hand worked.
I don't know if that really gave me a contour, but because I went light, I was scared to do so much. But I can't blend it out. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay guys, so she is contouring her nose and instead of using the liquid to blend out my concealer, I'm going to be using the True Complexion uh, Contour Palette by uh, Black Radiance and it's in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm going to be just using this shade and I'm going to be using a small brush to contour. Not usually how I contour, but we're trying something. We're trying her contour look. Make sure you smooth out any wrinkles before you put translucent powder on it, any powder on it, because if you don't, it's gonna stay like that, girl. And it might even look worse. Okay, she said blend it out. Both my, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to do this. So, hope I am doing it right. And from here, y'all know the drill. Got to do my powder in sections because I'm OCD like that. Okay, so I'm assuming that she's using the Laura Mercier powder to set her face. So, I'm going to be using, again, the Airspun powder and the shade Translucent. And I'm just going to set my face. counteract all that. Moving on to my nose contour, I like to take a regular bronzing color and then like a more purpley grayish toned eyeshadow so and I those two to together step. to get the perfect nose contour color. I sometimes feel that bronzers are a little bit too orangey so this purple gray color will counteract that. Now I'm going to take my Kat Von D contour kit and take the medium brown and just go all around where I contoured already. This kind of helps with the translucent powder kind of making it white and it makes me look a little bit more balanced and tan and give me a little bit more color to me i usually take off the chances of power and then put that but since we, this is her tutorial we're following it i'm going to be using this physician formula i love the packaging on this uh butter bronzer murmur butter bronzer ultra rich bronzer um it's in the shade light light bronzer i guess um yeah so we're gonna use that Going back in with the Black Radiance palette. It is adding some color to me too. Us light skin girls, we get pale, you know? We need a little darker. This is probably my favorite step because I'm just so naturally pale that this just makes me feel healthy. Going back to my NARS Long Hot Summer palette and taking that brown again and putting that on. I thought we were. My lower lash line. I thought we were and done. Taking a little bit first and then getting darker. I got that blended out. I just took like the least amount of product I could get and I'm putting that all along my lower lash line. Taking that fluffy brush, I did pick up a little bit of that brown and now I'm just kind of making everything look a little bit more blurred out even on the top where it messed up when I was doing my concealer and then also on the bottom because I want that to look just as smoky as the top does. And then I'm going to take that Rimmel Rich Brown and put that right on my waterline. And doing the same thing as before, getting product, blending it out, getting product, blending it out until I got at that perfect smoky eye. Okay, so blend a little more on the top. Okay, take that brown pencil.
looking like smoke. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of mascara and put that on my lower lashes. Okay, I'm gonna use telescopic mascara. And I'm gonna be using this uh, Last Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline to blend out my eyelashes. Okay, she's going in with the highlighter, so I need to take off this translucent powder. Gilded Honey Highlighter, and I'm using that on my nose, just putting it where all the lighter parts of my nose are from the concealer from earlier. And now I'm taking my Becca Jacqueline Hill Champagne Face Palette and using the color Prosecco Pop from a hot. Okay, so I don't have her highlighting products, so I'm just gonna go in with the J Cat Beauty You Go Girl Baked Highlighter. And it's almost a similar effect, it's very pretty. Bomb. Highlight. Highlight definitely popping, and it kind of matches my backdrop. Cream. And I'm going to just add that to the inner corners of my eyes. Give that little pop that I like. Going back into the Morphe palette, and we're going to use... Let's see, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use this shade in the inner corner. And pretty much just lining my lips and filling them in with this color. And because I want the outline of my lips to be a little bit darker, I'm taking MAC lip liner in the color cork and just darkening up them edges. Going back in with the strip down so that the cork isn't too dark and too harsh of lines. It kind of blends it out a little bit. And then my Deja Love Lip Gloss from MAC. And then I'm caking it on until it's super, super glossy, glassy. And I think it turned out pretty good. This is my first time trying this lip combination and trying this Deja Love Lip Gloss. And I think it looks really cute. I'm using um, this cheap uh, lip pencil on the shade Medium Brown. Uh, Sati, Satini, and I just outline my lips with that. And then I'm taking my liquid uh, Katsu by Win Wild, and this is in the shade Give Me Mocha. And I'm gonna put this on my lips. And then I'm going to be taking two, maybe possibly two, uh, liquid uh, lip glosses. And I'm taking the NYX uh, Sweetheart Liquid uh, Mega Shine Lip Gloss. And I'm going to put that on my lips. Put this in the inner corner. Then I'm taking the NYX Intense Butter Gloss, and this is in the shade Peanut Brittle. And I'm gonna also put that in there. Last but not least, going in with my Scandinavia Finishing Spray. Hell. And here's the finished look. Okay guys, that's the end of this tutorial. Well, the follow, follow tutorial of Alyssa Forever's Easy Smoky Eye video. So I think your girl got it down. I think the tutorial went well. You know, I, I did the hair like her. I'm wearing this black top. I think I am channeling Alyssa Forever. So it just comes to show you that you can have any product and you can turn it into the same look that a famous YouTuber can have. It doesn't matter if you have high end, low end, you can turn any product, any look into something that looks just like that. And I think I did a great job and I think her tutorial worked. That's the key of these videos is to see if these tutorials will work and that it will correspond with your look. So I think it did pretty well. Like, got the hair down, looking like Alyssa forever. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, 
comment and subscribe to me okay and if you guys can maybe you guys can at Alyssa forever in the comment section to get her attention maybe she may want to watch the video so please share this video and I'll see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.